That's your same video. Yes. This is about a three and a half minute video that's on you. This question right here. Yes. Wait till you. Oh, I need to do <laughs> this is a film showing a big blowout at your house this morning, right after lunch. Utility service partners help city residents save thousands of dollars on the high cost of repairing broken or leaking water or sewer lines. It's easy to implement, hassle free, and best of all, is offered to residents at absolutely no cost to the city. This program is very simple to implement and it's a win win for the city because utility service partners takes care of the marketing, the billing, and the customer service. A broken or leaking utility line is an unexpected headache, often costing the homeowner between $1,200 to $3,500 in repairs. So this creates a real hardship for the homeowner when they find out that the city is not responsible for this repair, but they are. This is why the National League of Cities has partnered with Utility Service Partners to make available the NLC Service Line Warranty Program to all of the 19,000 cities across the United States. Here's how it works. In the event of an incident, a customer simply has to call one of USP's live agents, available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There are no forms or paperwork to complete, and that's it. We fix it, we pay for it, giving the customer complete peace of mind. In fact, most repairs are completed within just 24 hours of the claim. And that's just one of the reasons USP enjoys a customer satisfaction rate of over 96%. Note that USP only works with small, local contractors who share our commitment to excellence in customer service. Working with the Service Line Warranty Program allows me to keep my plumbers employed locally, and that keeps money in our local economy. Most homeowners don't realize they are most likely responsible for the lateral lines that run from their home to the utility connection. The NLC Service Line Warranty Program provides repair coverage up to $4,000 per incident no service fees or deductibles. And our customers benefit from a low denial rate of less than 2%, all for just a few dollars a month. The city of Beckley, West Virginia is just one of the growing number of cities to have implemented this program. You want to be able to give your citizens back something to take a look at and get a fair value for the dollars that they're paying. And we feel that with service line warranties, they are getting exactly that. That very for a small monthly fee, they do have that peace of mind, knowing that if something does happen to their sewer line or water line, that they are going to be taken care of in a very cost-effective manner, and the bill will basically be paid. Happy citizens are only part of the story. Participating cities from coast to coast also benefit from this program. It does give peace of mind to me as an elected official to know that this program can be offered to the citizens. It gives my citizens peace of mind because they have a program with reliable contractors where they can go and get the service. And it gives the city peace of mind because we know that we can get our local economy going and then also revenue and income that we can help others. Implementation is simple and straightforward. All it takes is council approval, signed contract, and approval of the marketing materials. And you're on your way. For me as a city council member, one of the best things about it is the fact that I know I can offer my citizens something that will give them peace of mind. So if they're happy, I'm happy. So, uh, very quickly, uh, we have our uh, Mr. Brian Davis is with USP. And Brian is real close to us. Go in real quick, but if y'all have any questions for Brian on the on the operation, yeah. uh, we're going to discuss this after lunch. I will do it now. But uh, did you have a presentation you want to make, or you want to uh, ask questions? I, I can answer any questions, and I, I can explain in a little more detail how it works. That would be that would help out. Uh, okay. okay, so you're not going to do a presentation. You just want to ask questions, Sure. Okay. Uh, I got a card here from uh, Steve Hill. If you want to ask questions. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, I marked 
that I'm in opposition, but it's not exactly correct. My, it's really more of a question and comment. On option four, uh, as presented, I, I like that option of all the ones that were there. But what I was wondering is, could it be possible to at least consider that instead of the resident's first call being to the city, wouldn't it be more appropriate to make their first call to a plumber? So the plumber comes out, evaluates the line, and says, yes, you have a problem, it's on your property, and then the plumber, they engage with the plumber to, to fix the problem. So it's their expense, so the city's never involved. So that's, option, that's possibility number one. Possibility number two is the plumber comes out, evaluates the situation, and says the problem's either in the right way or it's in the main. In which case, the citizen would then contact the city to take it from there. The problem that arises from that is that now the citizen is out the money that they paid for the plumber. So my question is, would it be possible that the city could then take on that uh, some nominal payment to the plumber in that situation where the plumber's come out, done the evaluation, and says this is a city problem due because in the right of way or it's in the main, and then the, so rather than the citizen paying hundred dollars or hundred fifty dollars, the city would then pay that and then come out and, and fix the problem. That's kind of my comment slash question. So I'm, I'm an option in favor of option four, uh, possibly with that slight modification where the citizen's not out the money. As far as the insurance program that was discussed, I think that should also be something that we should look at from those private plumbers, where if that plumber, if someone wants to make a contract with Roto-Rooter to insure their lines, that would be up to them. The city doesn't really need to be involved in that. Actually, I can find that the warranty program is kind of in addition to option four. Obviously, we wouldn't be doing any of the services uh, under option four. And we can just make available additional alternative program that is, quote, option five. Uh, in response to the question about the city paying for fees incurred by private uh, owners, uh, I really don't want to get into that uh, business. I don't control those costs to be obligated to pay those without any control whatsoever as to what they were incurred for uh, is not a position I don't think is good for the city to get into. So uh, I just don't think that's it's somewhat like again paying for the service on the private line. Effectively, what happens is people will either call a plumber or the city, and uh, the plumber's not going to charge them too much if they're to find out what the mains, uh, problems in the main. But I would say probably 90% of people call the city first right now as it is. So. And, and clarify one other item on that on the utility or on the insurance program. If the line happens to be stopped in the main and not on the residential, USP still pays the plumber. Plumber calls us to go out and clear the line. That's the beauty of the program is that if there's no additional cost to the property owner when he calls, it doesn't matter whether the problem's on his property or on the city's property. It's not going to be any additional that, that's cost. That's not right. The additional cost is I then have to pay for insurance. Right. Well, that's, uh, yeah, you have to pay up front for the service. We but get, we get once you've done that, right here it's just like insurance on your car. You pay for the event that you have damages, when you have those damages, you're not going to pay full ticket price. Sure. Uh, I guess my point being is we've got, we've, got, yeah, we've got three councilmen right here personally experienced that the clean out is the main. So with a new solution here, I've either got to pay for insurance, I don't pay for anything now because it's, it's on the city side, but with one of these options, I either pay for insurance or I, I pay a plumber now. Because That's I called a plumber first. That's correct. I, I, I no longer have the option to call the city to fix their problem. You are no longer this going to be. This, well, no, no, no. You no. You still, he's saying that you no longer have the option to call the city to fix a problem that's on the city side. That's incorrect. You still have the option. We'll still have that I don't think it's on the city side. You call the city, would come out? And I'll check the main. Might be wrong. If it's, if it's the main. Yeah, I mean, as long as I still have that option. That's exactly what my neighbor did this right. summer with the water line. She called the city first, even though it was obvious what the problem was. And we came out, we investigated to make sure that it wasn't on the city main. I right. informed her that it was not on the city main, and then she went from there. Yeah, as long as I've got the option to reach out right. to the city to fix their problem, yeah. and I don't, I don't incur either a, a cost if I want to insure it on, I don't incur a, a plumber coming out, and then 
I'm, I'm cool. These, this is a nice extra option to add to the city. Yeah. So, so you can you can either take the risk yourself and not sure. pay anybody anything, and not have the insurance program and run the risk of that major line repair that they talked about. But I'm not mandating it. I right. Guess. But again, if you have a service, it doesn't really matter who you call. You can call them or you can call us in your way. You're not going to be exposed to any digital okay. call. This, this is a customer choice. You do not have to take the service all or none. It's not like the driving service where you got it. Everybody's at home waste man. If you want it, fine. If you don't, that's fine. The, my recommendation is going to be, however, that the city cease free activity. Cease the free service on residential side. Residential, residential, that's all we do. No, I, and I should be on the property owner side. side. Property owner side, yeah. and that, and you know, if council elects to go that way, and, and us to still provide a service, our first fee is fifty dollars, which is more than having a, a full year worth of protection. So, it's also about a third of the cost of calling the plumber. After hours, what time? After hours, after hours. Um, but the service, but the service that's still provided is, if I do not take this plan, I decide to reject it, then I can still call the city and say that well, I got a sewer problem. The city comes out and says, well, it's on your prop, on your line. It's your responsibility. Or right, they you they still look into it. And then it's my responsibility to call the plumber or whatever. Same thing. And, and Same thing. What we do today on the water. Right. And I would have to look at that, or we would have to look at that if, if we if, are we getting calls at midnight where I'm paying overtime, two hour minimum to come in to see if it's in the main or not. Do I bill that customer for that call if that stoppage is on the private side? What do you do now? Right now, it's a free service. Oh, yeah. all, all, during normal business hours, it's, it's the uh, $140 after, after hours. After hours. Right. So you already charge it now. From 10 that night to right. 7 or 8 but again, I think we need to look at that cost because it's the cost is more than $140. If you had the option to charge more close to the actual cost. I've got three things taken out of that. Yeah. Uh, first of all, um, I'm all for not giving any free service if it's on the customer side. I'm all for that. Price, $50, might be a little low thinking because we want to make it where they really think about the option of just calling a, a plumber than using the city services. If it is on the city side, you are talking that it's still going to be free during normal business hours, correct? Free anytime. Free Even after normal business hours? If it's on the city side. If it's on the city side. Okay. But if it's, if it's on the private side, I need some mechanisms that still get that we when, recoup that overtime cost. Okay. Well, I just want you to know where I'm at. I'm, I'm on number three, you know, with the cost. Maybe the cost need to go up a little bit higher. I'm not sure. But as long as it's free on the city side. Second thing is when we call the city, that person that's answering the phone before he sends someone out, he needs to let the person know that these are the charges are going to be during normal or whatever. He needs to let them know what the options are. Third thing. Be sure not to be too late. Could be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that retroactive insurance. <laughs> I don't know what my objection 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 is about going with this national program insurance thing. It just feels wrong. It rubs me the wrong way. Uh, I think um, I don't know why, but it just does. Um, I think if I wanted to make a, a contract with a local plumber, I think that's what Mr. Hill was alluding to. I can see that as an option. You can still do that. Yeah, you can still do that. But I don't know, just getting in, I hate to use the word embed or tied in with uh, an, an organization to offer this. I, I don't know what it is. It just, to me, it feels wrong. You don't have to. You can go with straight up option four, which is just we're out of that business. I just don't even want to sign the paperwork. Or you can, or you can do, you I mean, do sign it. If you, if you do sign it, it's the customer's choice. Again, really, really all you're doing is making a program available. That's all you're doing. And something that is endorsed by the National Just League of Cities. Now, I understand that you don't want to sign an agreement with them, but the other side of it is it is not. Uh, Carol Pitt has participated in a campaign this past fall. Uh, we had 
It was basically an awareness campaign to let the homeowners know this is something that, that they are responsible for. Uh, it was water, uh, I'm sorry, they did the sewer line campaign first, and we had over 20% of the households sign up for the program. And that was in November. So from November until now, we've already made uh, 40 repairs uh, to those uh, sewer lines for 40 different homeowners in Carrollton, uh, with an average repair cost of just under $1,000. So just for those 40 homeowners, they've already saved $40,000 in Carrollton. Uh, we're seeing about a 35% household penetration within the first three, four years, which is why we're able to offer this at such a, a low cost to the homeowner. That's why we wouldn't, we wouldn't just offer this direct without the city's help. And the reason we're throwing it out there is if you're going to take something away, this is a means by which you can provide something back. Because this is not available to the property owner in any meaningful way other than a pre-negotiated deal with some other plumber, which is probably going to cost a lot more. Which they could, which they could essentially do. What all we're doing is saying, and I'm in favor of the option four, and then offering option five if they want. If that if the individual homeowner or homeowners association would like to go out and negotiate their own plan with a group, whoever it be, to provide the same service time. But this is just offering the citizens an alternative if they so choose want to use it. If they don't want to use it, they either do their own plan or they don't do anything. But it gives them another avenue as a way to protect themselves if they don't use it strictly up to I look at this industry that this gentleman is in the same thing as the car insurance industry or the roof industry or whatever. Market, send things out to the residents in a mail campaign, and then they sign up with you directly for this insurance. I just don't think the city needs to go in with State Farm or in whatever organization this is to do insurance or whatever. It's option four. It's just like, you know, about that four. You're just, you're just out of business. But the, yeah, well, I mean, we're not going to go into the car insurance. Hey, you live in Louisville, so we want you to contract with all the cars in Louisville. For you the same box. It boils down to whether you want to provide that extra little thing. If, you, if you're not interested in that, then you don't have to worry about it. I think the difference down here is, and I'm not saying which one to do it. I am an option. I'm going to agree with option four. I think the difference is what he's saying is in the past, for a number of years, we have offered this service basically free to citizens. So now you're going to be basically taking that service away from them, and they're not going to recoup any tax dollars for that. They're going to say, I've been paying taxes all this time, and you've been getting to me, now you're taking away from me, I've still got to pay the same tax dollars. And so what I think they're recommending doing is to subside that. They say, well, there is a program available out there if you want to get it. We've made this program available to you. If you don't, that's fine. Look for your own program. But I think the difference is that we've never offered people car insurance before for free. We've never offered them house insurance before for free. Or anything. That's the that. difference. But to me, that's where this falls into. Now, I'm all, I'm all for option three for people paying if it's on their side always. as a little extra. It was nice to have it as option three. Option three, yeah. Option three is two and with extra charges if you want video or whatever the other charge. But even in option two, you know, $50 is still really cheap. Um, if it's on your side, I mean, it should be a point where the city shouldn't be, I agree with Mr. Backus that it shouldn't be for free uh, like that because we are competing with, you know, a lot of the plumbers and stuff out there. And I, so I feel that if they're going to call the city, it needs to be at a charge. Maybe, you know, not free for sure, but if it's their side and they're, on the right of way on their side, yeah, then they should pay. I mean, they, they should look at, well, city's going to charge me, might as well call a, a plumber, they'll be out here faster, et cetera. There's but, obviously a lot of variations in the structure that you can adopt uh, even under option two and three. You, know, you could make this number $190 too. You make all these numbers $190 or more. Um, charging what it costs, equivalently what it costs them to call a plumber. Essentially, that's what we're doing. We're being a private plumber. So, right. to me, that's probably what we should do. And I'm okay with that. But, but, but you don't want to get involved in people's stuff, but you want to be a private plumber. No, no. no, no, no Only no, if no, you no, want to no, be no, too. It's not me. What I'm saying is, I don't want to, I don't want to be so uh, competitive that we're taking the business away from private plumbers. But, like three of us on here, 
if you came out to my house every time, I wouldn't have paid a dime because it was on your side of the line. Right. Okay. And, and that's, I, I think I got clarity on that. That's still my option. I still can do that. It's just when they're out there, do they charge me when they say it's on your side? It's on your side, Mr. Gilmore. You are now going to be charged 190 bucks. Or the other option is you need to call a plumber. We're, we're done. So what is that? Well, the two. It's not on your side and then no charge anyway and then we call the plumber? No, we're not going to call the plumber. We no. Just, we, no, I'm saying we call the plumber. You tell you me. You the resident. Yeah. yeah. So, so you will determine that it's on your side. We're doing this. If we're doing an option two with an increased rate or whatever the rate is. Four. Okay. If it's option four, we're out. You don't need to come out and check your side? No, we'll come no. out and check. We'll always check our okay. side, guys. <laughs> for, <laughs> it's our for free. Ability. Yes, we for do free. that all the time. For free? Yeah, we okay. don't charge anybody for checking our side any time. Okay, great. And then if it's not uh, your side, it's still for then, free, but we call the plumber to come out and do the work. Then it's like, sorry, Mr. Green, you're going to have to either call the plumber, or you will have to call the plumber. They're option four. Number one, two, or three, and it would be either we'll do it for 190 bucks or whatever the rate is, or you can call. Okay, but, okay, but hold on here just a second. We're forgetting the key thing here. Let's use your example. You call the city. And if, if, this, if this is what I'm hearing you propose, what we're trying to forget about. If you call the city, let's say we do option two, three, or four, and you call the city, and the city and the city comes, and you say, I gotta stop. The city comes out there and says, okay, it's on our side, they're gonna fix it. You call the city, the city comes out there and says, I'm sorry, but it's on your side. And because you called us out here, and sorry, it's on your side, and so you need to call a plumber to fix it under option two, three, or four, or we'll fix it for X amount of dollars. Option two or three, we fix it for X amount of dollars. Four, you just need to call a plumber. And because you called us out here, and it's on your side, we're going to charge you $190. Correct? Wasn't that what you were saying a while ago? That's because after hours, you call us out here. We had to pay overtime to people to come out here. If it's on your, if it's your fault, your problem. Now we've had to be out city expense dollars. So now it's your money that you're having to pay. You're leaving that out. So you need to. That's what. I'm, that's what. I'm, that's, that's, thanks for yeah. clarification. Yeah. So do they clean it for that 190 after hours? Only if you ask them to. And that's that's part part They're still paying 190 either way because it's on your side, right? If you encourage it, right? After the outcry. I, I yeah, think we say example over and over again that we don't do this for the water right now. Right, right. We don't do it. If you got a water leak on your side, your problem. Right. End of story. And, that, and that's where the big problem but, lies is that we've been doing this for years for free. I got and you don't charge staff anything. to sell me on this too. No, we don't charge anything. But right. even if it's after hours, you come out and charge. Correct. 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 And so we've been doing this for years, so when you take that away, there's going to be some up for The only thing they're saying basically is we, we can say option two or three, but also give them option five so that they can say, well, wait a minute, that's ridiculous. I've been getting it for free. Well, you can do this money. It costs you $44 a year. You don't have to worry about all the prices. You don't have to worry about anything else. If you don't want it, fine, but it, it's out there. The only reason we're offering that is because there's going to be an outcry people that have been getting it for years for free. And they say they've been, quote, paid A water leak is, to me, is easier to find because the water's pulling either oh, before or after the leak. I think you got to smell on the sewer side to catch that. <laughs> I think, okay, I think, I think, Carol will tell you, they're both as equally painful. They just found one of them by my house, close, it's just going to be one of the close to his. Water been seeping through the streets from us because they saw it was straight. And it come find out it was a main room. No, I'm talking about you know, on our property. If we find out if it was oh, a main room. Oh, on When you're out close to the street, it's really yeah, hard. To yeah, think. it's hard to tell. But what I'm saying is, for, I can understand that for a water main, because you got the pressure, it'll start bubbling up somewhere, either on your side of the meter or outside the meter. As far as sewage goes, it's kind of hard to tell where uh, the blockage is. Can, can I get my two cents in? <laughs> I sit there. I'm okay with it. And sit here patiently. Uh, I'm opposed to, uh, to anything less than option four. And my first opposition really is uh, we're giving away a service. Uh, in fact, I'm assuming myself I'm helping to pay for it. I don't even have a sewer connection, so I'm helping to pay for other people's sewer cleanouts. And 
I can't even use the service. But that's not my big objection. My big objection is the liability. It's the liability and the cost to the city to do this service for something that I don't think we should be doing. Um, so first of all, option three and down, forget it. I'm, I, I'm opposed to those. Liability, cost to the city. I just don't think we have any business being in that business. That's, that's something for plumbers to do. Option four, I'm fine with that, but I'm also fine with option five because I view it the same way as the mayor. It's, it's option four, and oh, by the way, if you want, here's something you can have. Your choice. Don't want it, don't take it. But if you want it, here it is. We made it available. It's probably a better deal than you'll be able to cut for yourself. It's probably a better deal than your homeowners association can cut for you. But if you don't want it, don't take it. Association or insurance? Association. There's a group. Negotiate that group. That's my view. Yeah. Anybody have anything else on this before we break from us? Ready to vote? Ready to vote? No, I think you just mold this one. I'm ready to sign up. I'm ready to sign up. I've called the plumber. And for. I'd be good for $50 a month for what I pay for the plumber sometimes. You need to eat more fiber. No, no, no. All I've got is that the sewer was added after the house was built. But what they forgot to add is that it would be only Louisville based contractors, so not just local, but specific to Louisville. And what our customers tell us is that they feel they have an added, uh, almost an added insurance because they know that the work's going to be done right. If it's not, and you just hire a plumber, it's sort of you and the plumber. But where did where would this where would y'all's program stop? When the pipes went in the house, or right at the point where the pipe actually goes into the house. Okay. So, but from that point. All the way to the street. Thank you. Oh. I mean, one thing, see if I can clarify this. If you have the insurance program, if you as a homeowner have the insurance program, you have a stoppage, whether it's in the city bank or the private line, this program was running. If it was in the city bank, that plumber that was servicing that line would call the city and say, your main is stopped. It's stopped up. What saves us is, is that call out every time in a four, you hire a plumber because then that reduces the amount of time I need to be working on the sanitary sewer overflows on the our main lines. So there's really additional savings for the city. Yes, if I don't have to run a trip, yeah. if I'm still making four to six trips out there today to check manholes before somebody calls a plumber, <laughs> uh, I've got that expense plus I'm not doing this over uh, On the flip side, me personally, I call the city first because there's a history of it being the city. <laughs> and I do have the same thing. And, and there was well, yeah. it's, it's, it's like a legend history. I have a written <laughs> document. <laughs> I, have a, I have a document signed by city staff. <laughs> yeah, have you thought about using less toilet paper? More fiber. More fiber. <laughs> More fiber. <laughs> Okay, right. any other questions you think? Uh, city Manager Brother is waiting on Southern Hill. Come back and we're going to do the wrap up tomorrow afternoon and see what you're Okay, anything up? Right, okay, we're going to adjourn for lunch. Uh, be back here at uh, 1.45.